My name is Kayla O'Connell, and today I will be instructing the use of diagnostic ultrasound for evaluation of the UCL of the first metacarpophalangeal joint. We will cover the anatomy, patient positioning, the diagnostic ultrasound evaluation, and a review of the literature for diagnostic ultrasound. The ulnar collateral ligament of the first metacarpophalangeal joint is composed of a proper collateral ligament and accessory collateral ligament. These bands are located on the medial aspect of the thumb, connecting the first metacarpal to the first proximal phalanx, resisting excess valgus forces. When preparing a diagnostic ultrasound evaluation, the patient will sit with their forearm pronated so the palmar surface of the hand is on the table. The patient will sit with their fingers spaced so the examiner has access to the medial and dorsal aspect of the thumb. These images identify the UCL and the joint space of the first metacarpophalangeal joint between the reflective bone The examiner will prepare the area with gel and place the linear ultrasound transducer on the dorsal surface of the thumb. The orientation marker will face proximally. The examiner will scan the area to evaluate the integrity of the UCL, which appears as a hypoechoic fibrous band identified by the blue area attached to the reflective bone crossing the joint space. An advantage of diagnostic ultrasound is the ability to add dynamic movement to continue to assess the integrity of the ligament. The examiner can apply a valgus force to the joint, which can be seen in the video while the joint space separates, but the ligament tightens to resist the valgus force. Diagnostic ultrasound has been shown to be moderate to good to both rule in and rule out UCL tears within the literature, particularly for complete ruptures. Therefore, diagnostic ultrasound can be used effectively by a trained and experienced clinician to detect injury and create an individualized treatment plan.